What makes somebody a bourbon tater? Let's find out. And since you are nerds, we're gonna hit you with the obligatory. <laughs> it's okay, it is what it is. Number one, a tater waits in line for hours or days at a time to score bottles for the sole purpose of going back to resell them. If you can wait that long, uh, how about going and getting a job? A couple hundred bucks is not gonna change your life and a lot of people do that. Ruins it for the rest of us that want to get those bottles we used to like, that we used to be able to find, so that you can make a little bit of money. If you're waiting in line for a few days, get a job. <laughs> Number two, a tater is a typically a novice drinker of bourbon who just got into it, who pretends like they know everything there is to know about it. And they make comments on everyone's social media posts, we get plenty of them here, and those comments are dumb. They're like, Pappy Van Winkle isn't even good. If you say something like that, you don't know bourbon, all right? Stop. <laughs> Number three, you only seek out Buffalo Trace products, and then you go and post them on social media like it's some big score. Nobody cares that you scored some benchmark, and you're typically putting a picture of yourself in your car, with your watch, with your bottle, with your dick, nobody cares that you scored some benchmark and you drive a Subaru. Buffalo Trace products are great, we all love them, but there's plenty more out there to go. <laughs> Four, you don't know anything about bourbon. I saw a dude in a group the other day make a post about why Tennessee whiskey isn't bourbon, and the reason that he posted it was because it was made in Tennessee, and only Tennessee whiskey can be made in Tennessee. What? and then followed it up with a sentence of, bourbon can only be made in the United States. You need a map, bro? You don't know anything. <laughs> Five, you're a tater if you think Blanton's is the flagship of all products. Enough said. <laughs> and last, you're a tater if you walk into any liquor store when you're bourbon hunting that you've never spent any money in and you walk up and say, got any allocated bottles in the back? Um, let me make that answer very clear for you. For you, the answer is always going to be no. <laughs> anyway, I love all you guys. I'm just making fun. Hope everyone has a good week. Don't be offended. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.